That's my personal salute to Christian Serbia and Christian Russia. I want to talk to you guys about using Psalm 91 in battle and the importance of using Psalm 91 and quoting Psalm 91 over your forces before they enter into battle against the Antichrist and his forces. First of all, there was a that we should have never been, we should have never went to Vietnam, but there was a platoon of uh, soldiers that went to Vietnam. These were Christian soldiers. And I heard this from word of mouth that every time before they went out into the uh, patrols, they would say Psalm 91. Every one of the soldiers would say Psalm 91 over themselves. So after the war commenced and was over, this platoon didn't lose not one soldier and not one soldier got a scratch. They all got home safely from that war that they should have never been in. So when you come against all these uh, antichrist uh, hybrid enhanced uh, infantry that have the superhuman abilities from being made in the labs, uh, you're not gonna beat these type of troops with regular weapons. You're gonna need Psalm 91. You're going to need Psalm 91 against fallen angels, against giants, against all, all manner of, of demonic uh, forces, enhanced forces. Uh, they're not being fair. They're going to their, their God for help, Moloch. So we need to go to our God for help. And this information is for all the Christian armies worldwide, the American patriots, the uh, value American patriots, the Russian patriots, Serbian patriots, uh, Ethiopia, uh, all the White Hat Alliance, all the good guys, all the anti-human uh, traffickers, all these guys that are against the people that are human trafficking, kids and stuff like that. Everybody that wants to work together for the good cause. Use Psalm 91 and use the blood of Jesus over your forces before you go against that unfair antichrist forces. Uh, unfortunately, the, the the blue and gold country uh, is being used by the same people that stole stole our country from DJT from Trump. So that's what's going on there. A, a situation that shouldn't even be happening. That where, where the people are being used by the antichrist uh, alliance. They're just using them like fodder, you know, and it's very sad. It's very, very, very unfortunate because there's a lot of good people. There's a lot of good people caught in the middle in the uh, the, the Ukraine war. You know, is is I hope for a speedy end to it and that everybody uh, comes to the full truth, the full truth, and then love can prevail again there where it could be peace between the, the two nations, you know, or if it becomes one nation or however it goes. But uh, yeah, big salute and big thanks to Christian Serbia for rescuing our downed pilots in World War II from the Nazis. And also big thanks to uh, Russia for uh, being with us in every war, World War One, World War II, and also when we was first starting out our republic with uh, Abraham Lincoln Tsar Nicholas sent his Black Sea uh, fleet to assist Lincoln because we was under threat of uh, Britain and France. So big salute and thanks. Thanks to Russia for having our back on that and also for thwarting the plans of the New World Order back then, you know, and you know what happened when the League of Nations and Army Hammer funded your bad guys and you went under oppression for 70 years and now you finally shook it off. And you went back to your Christian roots and you banned all the perverse, perverted things from your country and protected your children and protected your people. So big salute for that. And also big salute and thanks for for working with and uh, wanting the best for uh, Donald Trump and the patriots here. Uh, wanting to see the good guys prevail against the deep state criminals here and see America uh, great again as in really make America Christian again, because it all needs to be about Christ. So good job on that. Good job of the Z rescuing the children there. Um, Kosovo is Serbia. It, it should have never been taken 
uh, from the hands of that criminal Clinton, uh, illegally bombing Serbia in, in 99. And may God restore and bless you everything that the enemy stole from you there, Serbia. Be blessed. Um, let's be sure to, uh, there's these ETs coming down. They're not ETs. They're fallen angels presenting themselves as ETs. And they're, they're acting like they're working with the Alliance to help rescue the kids and all this and that. But they're bad guys. They're, and if you don't believe they're bad guys... Angels of God, if you plead the blood of Jesus on them, it's not going to hurt. If you plead the blood of Jesus on Christians, we're supposed to cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. It won't hurt us. But if you plead the blood of Jesus on Satan's forces, it should disrupt them some kind of awful. So make sure these uh, ETs that are coming down are presenting themselves uh, like they're space brothers or people from another planet. They're not. They're fallen angels. But if you want to test them, well, you want to test them because you don't want to be deceived by them. Plead the blood of Jesus on them and see their reaction. You know, it says the forces of Antichrist uh, will never will never uh, admit that Jesus Christ came in the flesh and it is our Lord, Savior and King. And, you know, some people say that they can lie and, and say that, too. But hey, if you want to go a step further, plead the blood of Jesus on them. And so I plead the blood of Jesus on you, all, all these uh, ones like that's been in the Pentagon called Valiant Thor. And um, the problem with, with these fallen angels like this is that they're fooling our good guys. They're fooling the patriots. American patriots, listen to me. Listen real well. Test all these so-called ETs coming down that's supposed to be Galactic Federation of Light or what, what, whatever it is, uh, Ash Talker, man, and all this. These are fallen angel groups, and they're just they're just fooling you. They're deceiving you. They even brag about how easy it is to fool human beings. Just be nice or pretend to be the heroes, come down dressed up as heroes. That's all they got to do. And uh, Russia and Serbia, be aware that fallen angels can also come down and pretend to be these dead saints. You know, the ones that you think about and, and, and maybe venerate so they can come down and, and pretend to be them. So the only ones we need to be relying on is Father God, Lord, Savior and King Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. You know, that's what we all about. And that right, Serbia, love Serbia, love, love you guys, love Russia, uh, Ethiopia, all you Christian nations out there, you know, and all the Christians in America, all you real Christians, real patriots. We need to pray for each other, pray for our country, we pray for yours. We ain't supposed to be enemies anyway. It's these deep state criminals that are using uh, bought and paid for politicians to to do these, uh, these stupid sanctions and all this and that to just keep us at odds at each other, against each other. Well, we're supposed to be friends and we're supposed to be allies, you know, and there's plenty of us here that know that, you know, we got the brainwashed people here, too, that think you're the enemy and think you're communist and all this garbage. We got to pray for them, you know, just like pray for the people in Ukraine, too. Your same situation. They're being brainwashed by the same people that's being brainwashed here. So just know that there's good people in these countries and pray and be led by God and the Holy Spirit, you know, and don't fear anything from the enemy so the real enemy is not people anyway the real enemy is these fallen angels and these uh animal human hybrids that they're making an underground basis you know uh these chimeras and all this stuff like this and these, these enhanced uh satanic uh super soldiers so you're gonna need psalm 91 and the blood of jesus to deal with them and you're gonna also need to put on your full armor of god every single day Put on that full armor of God. Repent of sins every day. And the only way Psalm 91 is going to work is you got to live clean or it ain't going to work. And that's for all the Christians everywhere. The Christian army, the Christian alliance, the white hat alliance, all the good guys, the real people, not the fakes, not these fakes. You know, like this Alex Jones and all this control opposition, this uh galactic federation of light and and ash talking man these are control opposition groups fallen angel groups it just just like that fake alex jones you know these all these fake groups that try to infiltrate the real the real deal so pray for uh putin pray for trump pray for all these people man these these good guys that work together you know 
the good guys, the Christians, the real guys, and expose all these fates and all these fallen angels and this this valiant Thor and all this fallen angel stuff, you know, because they, because it'll be a shame that we get the victory over the deep state and then we hand over hand over the control to fallen angels that are pretending to be good guys and heroes. Well, anyway, uh, that's a little information I want to share with you guys, giving a heads up. So all the Christians around the world, keep on praying, man. Pray that all the truth is revealed. All the deceptions are exposed and crushed. Everything of the devils and the enemies, make sure that we pray that that's all crushed and that the good people work together and love each other. All right. God bless you all in Jesus name.